Hey guys, it's TNN, and today we are going to have a look at the Elifast LED projector, and we're going to unbox and review it in this video. Now, as always, don't forget, link to buy will be down below in the description. So let's go ahead and unbox this projector. So here we have the actual projector itself with the Elifast logo written on top. We've got the picture of the device. We also have some of the icons here. So we've got AV. VGA, USB, SD card and earphone support. LED projector right on the bottom here. The most cost efficient, high resolution LED projector. Sounds very interesting and it also looks very nice as well. Again, some more things at the back. We've got the specifications over here. Now, if you want to check these out, you can go ahead and pause the video right here. But we have 1000 lumens of brightness on here. Um, the, the native resolution is 800 by 480 pixels, so the actual resolution of the projector is 480p, but it can input 1920 by 1080 pixels, so it can input 1080p resolution, but it will output it into 480p. And the actual light bulb lifespan is 30,000 hours. That's a very big lifespan. And then we've got some other information here. Again, you can go and pause it and check these out. And then we have the same thing all around so let's go ahead let's open it from this bottom over here so we have a card here elifast.com.hk thank you for purchasing and thank you for this amazing product so link to buy of this device will be down in the description once again what else do we have here we have a hdmi cable it was very nice that it was included with a hdmi cable Now let's go ahead and take out the sponging. Now I have opened this device up already, so this isn't how it's originally been packed. I have opened this device up, but it does come with all those wrappers and stuff. We're going to go ahead and speed this bit up. So here's everything that it comes with, so the main projector here. We got the user guide over here. We have the splitter. So basically this is the AV splitter because it doesn't actually have the three pins on the actual projector itself. You have to use one of these pins. Adapter which adapts it into the AV free pin. But who really uses AV nowadays anyway? It's mainly HDMI. And we do have a HDMI cable over here. Pretty nice high quality HDMI cable. It is the normal size HDMI cable. We then have the power source, which is a UK free pin power source with this connection over here, which is the two slots found in loads of boxes, mainly big devices. We then have the remote control with pretty basic functions over here. Up, down, OK, menu, input, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, skip, previous, mute, power on, escape, picture, zoom, turn, info, repeat, volume down, volume up. It's quite a thick rumor I have to say. On the back we have the slot for two AAA batteries. Now it doesn't come included with batteries but hey nowadays you don't really need to have devices included with batteries. You can just pick it up from a local store or local pound store and you can get a whole pack for a pound. So you know nowadays you don't really need that batteries anyway but these are my own batteries. It doesn't come included with batteries. So let's go ahead and go through the actual main device now. So on the front over here we have Elifast written in a silver emblem design. We then have a cover over here, we can go and pull that off, now it's a bit grippy but once you get the grip of it you can pull it off. We have the main lens over here. On the side we have the first switcher bit over here which is actually the focus of the lens, you can see the lens pops out. And depending on the distance of your projector from the screen or your wall, it will depend on all that with the focus of the lens. And then we have another option over here, which is actually the tilt of the screen. So the screen can actually be tilted and we will go through all of these functions, of course, when I attach it and put it up against a wall. We then have obviously the power pin. So this pin over here will go straight into there to power up the device. We've got some ventilation underneath as well. We then have the IR receiver for the remote control now i have only one problem with this ir receiver is that you have to be 
basically your remote has to be facing the receiver for it to work it will not work if you use it on front of the on front of the projector which is kind of kind of annoying that's the only downside really you have to use the, the remote control behind the projector where the IR receiver is we then have a VGA port over here you can always connect your old computers if they don't HDI supported we then have HDMI we have an output of 5 volts USB not too sure why you'd have an output of 5 volts USB maybe to add an additional device to the actual projector such as a for example Android TV box for example you can plug in the output over here then plug in the HDMI cable we then have a USB input so you can put in your USB if you've got movies on the USB TV video whatever on your USB you can go in and put in your input USB and then obviously the actual projector has a UI itself to use it we also have an SD card slot works the same way as the USB put in an SD card you can play whatever's on the SD card with the UI that is on the projector we then have the AV port which is of course for this free pin AV because these three yellow white and red pins are not included on the actual projector and then we then have headphone port so you can always put in some headphones earphones or speakers so if the actual um, the actual projector comes in with two two watt speakers so that's altogether four watts but if that's not loud enough for you can always go ahead and attach an external speaker and then we also got some more ventilation over here more ventilation on the back and some little more ventilation on the bottom as well so there's quite a lot of ventilation straight up on the bottom we have four grips on the floor here so it can really grip to its ground very nice so it's not slippy we then have a thread which can actually stand on pretty much any tripod it's just a normal size tripod thread so you can just attach that to your tripod and pretty much stand it on the tripod so on the top here we have this very nice diamond shaped design it's very very nice now the size of the actual uh, projector is actually just about the size of my hands now on pictures and on some videos I've seen it does look a lot bigger but it's, it's not it's about the size of my hand so we got this design over here over here is a little line which is actually an LED light which will indicate the remote receiver it will flash when it's receiving it will turn on when the device is turned on so we've got some buttons over here just in case you run out of battery on your remote go ahead we've got input over here escape up down ok and power on power off so let's go ahead let's set this projector up and let's see what it looks like now before we do that let me just go through and talk for the screen sizes it can go from I think it can go up to 130 inches of screen but we're gonna go ahead and test that soon anyway now I haven't got that much space to really test 130 inches but let's go through the main thing anyway the quality of the device the lightness the UI and basically what we can actually do with this projector and for the price and this is a pretty cool projector so let's go ahead and set it up and see what it looks like here we have the actual projector I've set it up on my tripod and go ahead and shine it on my wall turn it on see how it goes and I'm gonna go for the UI and some of the settings such as the brightness contrast and how you can improve the sound as well you can see the LED indicator over here I'm gonna go ahead and power this device on and you can see it flashed LED indicator flash mean that it is powering on now and you can hear the noise instantly it does make quite a bit of noise when it's powered on so let's go ahead and check out the screen I'm gonna turn the lights off I'm going to turn my studio lights off in the background and we're just going to check out the screen now. Here it is first powered up, it's very blurry. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off. So I'm going to go ahead and check out the focuses and all that now. So that's the tilt. As you can see we can tilt the actual screen itself. And then we have the focus. And there you go, now we can see that. So we have picture mode which is of course to change the picture around on this device so you can play with the contrast go ahead and increase that, decrease that, your own personal way you like it now you've got user mode, dynamic mode which is also a fixed sort of picture modes standard mode, mild mode and user mode of course you can play around with the user mode 
with contrast, brightness, colour, sharpness and tint. Go ahead and click menu again. We can play on the colour temperature. So it's cool, medium, warm, user. Again we can play with red, green and blue colours. Then we have the aspect ratio of the device. So that's the screen ratio, 16.9, zoom, zoom 1, just scan, panorama, point to point. I prefer to keep it to 16 to 9. Go ahead and keep it to that. Obviously we're going to have to have something playing. I am going to go ahead and connect my Android box to this in just a bit. So we also have noise reduction. Keep that on the middle. Obviously you can so much stuff you can play around and improve with this. Project mode normal image scaling as well now if I go ahead and go on to input and let's click on USB we have the actual UI layout the user interface on this device for when you have a new USB setup so right now I don't know what the screen size is right now I'm going to go ahead and measure it and I'll come back with you on that but we have movie mode music mode, photo mode, text mode and then you simply play from your USB so I'm going to go ahead and pop a video in I'm also going to measure the screen size on this as well so I'm going to actually connect my Android TV box to the projector right so I've actually plugged in my Android TV box and the screen size right now is around 61 inch and the maximum that this projector can do is 130 inch almost double that so actually it could do more than double that so so i'm actually on youtube here right now we're on my own channel with my own videos let's go ahead and check out the quality of these as well this one's 720p maybe my internet is not really well upstairs so it might be well. so that was actually the speakers on the actual projector itself and my internet in my room isn't very good so let me go ahead and pause it and load it up and we'll be right back but you can tell that the speaker is going to be really loud and you probably won't be able to hear me now so let's just go ahead and check out the quality So yeah, I have to say, for the price of these, of this projector, I mean the colour is absolutely amazing. I mean, text isn't that clear, I can admit that, uh, because it is a 480p resolution and obviously input, I'm putting in input 1080p, because the Android TV box is actually 1080p, so input is 1080p and then it outputs it in 480p, so that way the text, sometimes the text, some icons, are just not the best quality in my personal opinion they're just not that great quality but for the price this goes for 50 quid this is quite a cool design this is like quite a cool product this is a great great like piece of kit I mean a projector for only 50 quid it can go up to 130 inches and the screen quality isn't that bad I have to say for 50 pounds it's a really really nice screen quality and for what you can do, what you can do with it, because it's compact, small design, it's so portable, it's actually a really, really great, great device. So I have to say, this is a really, really nice projector, I mean, it's absolutely amazing for the price. Yeah, the quality may not be that good, but for the price of this projector, you truly, truly can't complain. And what it can do, is just amazing. So, as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And link to buy this product will be in the description and overall score I give is 9 out of 10. Great product.